Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to episode 2 of Navball Mastery. Uh, obviously I'm doing a little bit of shenanigans right now but uh, we're going to talk this episode about how to land on an airless body. Now the Navball, oh I missed, I missed quite considerably here, hold on. This Kerbal, not a very good pilot, is of course a scientist. Now this is my research station in orbit of Ninmus. And I thought that this episode was actually probably a good idea for me to kill two birds with one stone. So I need to do a, a bit of a science trip. Okay, let's grab you. Oh, grab, grab, board, board, quick. <laughs> oh dear. Now, I have my Kerbal on board. And I need to mute you, because you're very, very loud. Now then, let's undock. Let's be about landing, and let's talk about I've got full tanks good let's talk about how landing actually works here we go this way now right now we're in an orbit of Minmus okay and in the last episode I talked about how what all the different things mean so we've got the retrograde marker radial uh, in that one prograde now, if I wanted to go to a higher orbit, I'd go prograde, but because I want to deorbit, I'm going to use the retrograde marker. Now, landing. What we're going to do is we're going to pick a landing spot, and actually, I want to I want to orbit the planet probably one more time, so I can pick a good spot where to land. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a maneuver node. There's actually one of my bases. I think this this lake here looks like a good target okay so I'm just gonna do something like that and I am actually going to overrun where I'm aiming to land and I'll show you why in a minute so I have a maneuver node now to execute now you notice that the maneuver nodes over here now the reason being is that maneuver node is actually the retrograde direction when we're over here so let's go to it oh actually I could uh, I could use inbuilt warp to maneuver node let's do that Where is the station? Oh, there it is. So I just want to make sure I don't hit it. Now, what we need to do is, because this is an airless body, we need to slow down completely. Like, the at, there is no atmosphere to help us. We can't use parachutes, so we can only use engines. And that means we need to do things in a certain way to land safely. Now, basically, the tactic that we're going to use is pretty much the reverse of a gravity turn. Okay? So while the gravity turn started out vertical, okay, so we were vertical, started out vertical, and then slowly tilted over, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to come in pretty much horizontal and then slowly become vertical to land. Okay? Because remember, we've got to kill all of our velocity. And right now, we're going sideways at a pretty good rate of knots. I'm around Midmus because it's a really, really good spot to land. It's, uh, it's a great spot to do this because you have lots of time. I find that, oh, you see that because things have rotated, things have moved. Okay, I need to walk forward a bit more. Shall kill that. And about there. So what I want to do is I want to point retrograde. I want to burn. Oh good, my engines are on. And I want to get so that the point is somewhere about there. Okay. Now then, the next thing I want to do is I want to orientate this so that it makes sense to me. Okay, because what I'm going to do, okay, right means right, left means left, okay, down, down means up and up means down, okay, I can, I can understand this. this. This makes sense to my brain, so I'm going to make it easy so I can control the craft. Now what I want to do is I want to obviously land somewhere on the lake here. So I reckon I've already been to this lake, it looks familiar. Now then, I've got my lander. Kelric Kerman is looking scared. <laughs> That's good. I wouldn't be scared, Kelric. We're doing a tutorial. Nothing can go wrong. Okay, so now we're coming up on our launch site, and I have actually landed here before. Uh, yeah, we're still going to land here. Now, what I want to do is I want to obviously slow down, come to a stop, and land. Now, the retrograde vector tells me the opposite direction to which I'm traveling, okay? 
So, if this is the opposite direction to the one I'm travelling in, if I apply a thrust in this direction, I'm going to slow down perfectly, okay, if I go directly along it. However, we're not going to go directly along it. And the reason being is we want to land vertically, okay, we, we need to land when we're like this, okay, we're going to have a get going to have a gear down, okay, we're going to land like this, okay, so we need to actually do something a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the retrograde vector up the nav ball, okay, because that's going to get me the nice come in horizontally, and then we're slowly going to tilt the angle over. Understanding that this is the opposite direction into which we're traveling, and knowing that I need to do this to slow down completely in order to land safely, that's the trick. Okay, so all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to push the retrograde vector up the nav ball so that we get to that right landing uh, attitude where we're pointing straight up. The fiery bit's pointing towards Earth and the top's pointing towards space. Now this can take some practice and this is a very, very underpowered craft. So I would actually take a different approach here, but that's a little bit more advanced and we're going to do the basic landing here today. Now say I was a little bit off target, I could come to one side or another and push my retrograde over to get me back on target. But generally you don't want to do that too much because then you're, you're really starting to fiddle around with your orbit and remember you're falling towards a very very big planet and you're not going to bounce. So you want to keep that under control if you can. So right now what I'm doing is we're just following this retrograde, we're pushing it up the nav ball so that we're nulling we're nulling out our, both our horizontal velocity first and then our vertical velocity second. That's what we're aiming to do here. So that when we come down to land, we're all hunky-dory. Now you notice that my orbital speed is actually getting fairly slow. This is... Uh, this is not good. Because uh, right now I've killed everything. Now you notice that the surface and the orbit are different. Now I explained at the end of the very last video that orbit is with respect to an unmoving point, say in the middle of the planet, whereas the surface is with regards to a fixed point on the surface. So you'll notice that I've actually gone too far because I had the nav ball in the wrong mode. So that's definitely a trap. It'll flick to surface mode when you get low enough, but keep that in mind. Make sure it's in the right mode. Now you notice that I've just uh, aligned this so that the retrograde is up. And I'm going to do the same thing. What I want to do is I want to get the retrograde marker onto the top of the nav ball. That's what I want to do. So I'm going to push it like this. Okay, so you notice I'm a long way up with right now. But now it's perfectly on the top. That means I'm coming down straight. Okay, our horizontal velocity has been pretty much dealt with. Now my job is to control the vertical. Okay, the up and down. Because remember, gravity is going to keep working on us, and I want to use as little engine from here on in as possible. The more, the closer to the ground I can get before turning them on, the better. Now you'll notice that Kerbal Engineer has a cheat here. This is the suicide burn distance. Okay, so it's going to tell me when I need to burn in order to come to a perfect stop right on top of it. And it seems pretty scary, because right now we're moving at uh, quite a great rate of knots. Okay, and right now I'd be panicking normally, and you do, can panic. Okay, you can go. Oh, I'm going a bit quick here. I don't like how quick I'm going. Let me just slow this down, get this under control, and I want to keep that retrograde on top of the up marker. So if it starts to drift, you just push it back on, and down we come. Now, 20 meters. I'm much happier with that. That's that's a good speed I'm not going too quick I know it's under control and this is fairly underpowered remember so you're gonna have an easier time if you've got a thrust weight of say 10 or 20 generally most rookie landers the the landers made by new players are about that so again speeds getting out of control so we'll turn the engines back on again try and slow down a bit more ideally you'd make one burn as you come down and make it as late as possible so that you just touch down nicely we're panicking though, so we're, we're going to do this gradually. You notice that I have no horizontal speed to speak of. Okay, I'm just coming straight down. I'm using 
the uh, engines to control my vertical speed only so that I can uh, control my descent. Now, you notice that I'm on a little bit of a hill here, so I'm going to take this on. Ideally, you want to pick flat landing areas. So you notice that I, I did a landing over here on the, the flats, because that was nice and easy. This isn't going to be too bad by the looks of it. Okay, we'll control that speed. Now, I want to touch down. The landing legs can take anything up to about 7 meters per second. So I want to keep it under that. Okay, that's my target. The closer to kind of one or two meters per second I can get, the better. And now it's just a matter of just balancing those throttles and whoop, I bounced a little bit, but nothing wrong with that. Oh, don't, don't tilt, don't tilt. There we go. So we landed. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you use the nap ball to land. Now say I wanted to do another landing, and this is gonna be a tight run thing on fuel and electric charge. Say I wanted to go to the top of the mountain. Let's go to the mountain then. This, this craft takes forever. <laughs> it's so underpowered. I did that for a reason though. So I'm going to go to the top of the mountain. Okay, I'm, I'm thrusting, I'm getting up there. Let's have a quick look at our orbit. Oh, it's going to take a bit to get there. Now if I want to, say for example, I'm coming down on the side of a mountain, and I'm like, oh, I really don't want to land here. Okay, I just take off again, and then I rinse and repeat that landing phase. Okay, so you notice that we got our retrograde up there. Now I don't want to burn like that, because that's actually going to increase my vertical speed, isn't it? So remember that brown is the dirt, blue is the sky. So the maximum I want to do is something like this. Okay, I'm along the horizon. So that's going to kill my horizontal, so it's going to bring me to a stop over a point. And that's going to allow me to land again. So I hope this has been of some use to you today. I've uh, enjoyed doing this video. I'm going to attempt to... Uh, actually, I'm going to go straight to orbit. And... Oh, set target. I'm going to go straight to orbit because I know that I need to get back into space very, very quickly because I'm going to run out of Delta V. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode where we actually talk about Rendezvous. And Rendezvous is very, very important because I'm going to show you some really cool stuff, including how to eyeball these close approaches, how to... I just need to check I'm not going to hit a mountain here. I need to go a little bit higher, I think. How to eyeball the close approaches, how to land right next to a target, and it's all going to be using the same kind of theory. So I look forward to seeing you then, and I hope you enjoyed this one. It's been good fun.